G'day. I'm Kionra from Kionra Music and uh, I'd like to welcome you uh, one and all to uh, another live stream. A special one. It's my birthday today. What does that mean? I may have cake later. Mm. That's about it. I had a lovely breakfast, bleh, breakfast with my family this morning, surprise breakfast, which was really nice. I kind of got a bit of a heads up beforehand, but Mostly a surprise and it was lovely. And it's always the thought that counts. There was also a thought that I'd get a nice brand new red Lamborghini. So it's the thought that counts. I didn't get a new car. But look, I heard this this morning and it brought joy to me and my life and a smile on my face. Two slices of bread got married. The ceremony was going great until someone decided to toast the bride and groom. You could say that things then really heated up, turned into a real fiery affair. With all the effort into the wedding, they just ended up burnt out. On that happy note, let's get on with the music. I think that's the best way to do this. So, look, still not sponsored, and we're using some of 8DIO's uh, string libraries and stuff. I'm finding their ostinato strings are quite uh, prominent, which is what you need for ostinato strings, and they sound really, really good. I got my project working last night after the stream, of course, of course. Why not? Of course it worked after my stream. So I don't know what gremlins were inside my computer last night, but, you know, that whole turn things off and turn it on again, which also works with computers, predominantly computers, um, and technology and it works so I've done some stuff with things and uh, I've done a bit more over that side uh, with the how to write trailer music had a bit of a um a look see of what I've done and what going to do and all that sort of thing I think I'll be doing this course for several weeks more until I get it all done because I have only covered the ostinato strings I've only just gotten into the section on drones um, which are not the flying type in the air, these are the long sort of notes that go. <clears throat> Coffee is essential for this streaming time of day. Mm. I love my coffee. So, um, and then I've got to learn all about percussion and stuff. So, what I've done is I've created a track sort of loosely based around. What I'm learning, I'm recreating it, um, which is different to the course because they provide you a full track missing one component and they get you to practice writing that component. You get to send it in on their Discord server and they give you feedback. How cool is that? That's really cool. That's better than an online course and then, you know, not having any feedback. So that's really good. So a lot of organisations are doing that now, which I think is a good thing, especially with education. So there you go. Ray K and Ashley HM, thank you, thank you very much. And thank you, yes, I'm having a lovely birthday today. A quiet one, but I'm okay with that. I'm having my coffee, special coffee. It's <clears throat> Yahava coffee. I'm going to do a video on it because I, I did record something a little while ago. It's a fun thing. I'm coming up to 100 videos on my channel, including live streams. So I'm going to do a special little fun thing uh, about coffee because I love my coffee. And um, uh, <laughs> I thought that it would take me a lot longer to do 100 videos, but apparently not. So I've been busy. But things are going to change and mould and manoeuvre and do all sorts of wonderful things but I'm going to be doing more courses and more of this stuff and other videos you may see in the future so do the clicky likey subscribey ring the cowbelly thing oh I've got to put a cowbell in here too don't I I said I was going to a surreptitious cowbell I'm going to try and make that my my sort of signature piece for uh, my music Apparently tattoo artists tend to do a little drawing in there. Some of their tattoos is a signature little thing that only they and some others know. Then you look really hard and go, oh, look, that looks like something that probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> okay, it's... <laughs> 
Ah, it's only been a short morning, but it could be a long one indeed. All right, let's get to the music. Okay. So still loving the course, still having an amazing time doing the course. Um, let's have a look over here. So what I've done is I have started, uh, I, did, I did do a bit of work last night. I was up till two again. My muse was up late again last night. Um, and then I started falling asleep here at my music desk thinking, I've got to get up in a few hours. I, sh I should do something about this. Um, I I had a look at the taiko drums, the tacos. They're not. It may be because I don't know how to use the instrument well, and that's a, a thing. Another another reiteration of of something that is mentioned on the course is knowing your light and. I think everyone says that, knowing your library as well. So I think I need to watch a video on how to use the 8DIO taco, taco, see now I'm saying tacos, <laughs> taiko drum ensemble to use them effectively because the one key wonder thing that um, uh, does it is not in line with the string ostinatos that I'm trying to do. So, for example... Let's listen just to the the tacos, <laughs> the tacos, I should say, the tacos. And when it comes in with the strings, it doesn't sound right. It's just. It's all muddy and messy and yuck and all the rest of it. So let's put a hold on those. What I've done though is included the hits in certain parts of the pre bit with booms and things. Single one hits that are pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> in the chat they're having coffee and tacos nice very cool um but i did go to one of my favorite instruments and i just i keep coming back to it i love this thing so much and i found triplet thunder why wouldn't you so i've gone with this and if we listen to this with the with the tacos um this is u jam's uh symphonic element drums which i have used in so many tracks i just love them so much um but yeah this is this is cool so if we listen to this hang on over it's big over there there we go listen to this with drums and it works better much tighter and in time and there's a bit more clarity to them not so much reverb ah that's right so i decided <laughs> late last night that's what happens late at night to just use the drums so they've actually got other hits as well like this metal hits really good too. So let's just go with it with the drums, U James drums. And it's got the tighter fit, I think. But that sounds good. Coming up to the ostinato strings. Now, the other thing I've noticed, the strings are late. Now, there is a way, I believe, to adjust the strings and stuff, she says. <laughs> MIDI modifiers. 
velocity shift tonight there's something in the air tonight the stars were bright um I may have to look it up later and fix it later, but I believe, and it will be better, that you can automatically, um, nope, change, ah, where is it, no, not velocity but you can actually move it over a little bit so uh, you can put it in that all of the notes that you put on the grid should be so many milliseconds earlier triggered so many milliseconds earlier and that's what needs to be done and I can't remember where it is uh, I need to google it I'll find it later I think where is it no yeah it's somewhere Editor? No. I've seen it before. You end up watching so many videos no, of how to do things and you think, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I remember, remember that. And I don't remember it at all. My memory is shocking. So it's not chords. There is something somewhere. Insert sends fader. No. Uh, I don't know where it is. I'm going to quickly have a quick Google of it because it's driving me nuts. <laughs> um, what is it called? Um, 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 strings time adjustment. There is a way, there is a way. There it is. Record MIDI. Is it record MIDI? No, it's not record MIDI. Something. Hmm. This is annoying. Um, I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. Only one problem when they show you. <laughs> Uh, all the answers on another on somebody else's video. I don't want to sit and watch a video. I just want the answer. Um, ah, I'm going to look at that later. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, it might be midi, 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 midi modified. No, no, no. Midi. Score editor. MIDI modifiers. Where's MIDI modifiers? MIDI modifiers. It should be in there. Oh, hang on. 
Random target. Position. Ah, oh, would that be it? No. No, I don't want random. I want. Hang on. I suppose velocity and velocity random position, not random position. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to not waste time now <laughs> and look for it later. Oh, hang on, it might be range. Right. I've seen Guy Mitchell Moore do it lots. They do it on the um the Berkeley this video on it on the Berkeley channel, YouTube channel as well on how to do it. And I've both times I've looked at it and thought, that's a great idea. Hmm. Anyway, that's okay. Yeah, compensation. That's that's the that's that's the Google term I need. Thank you. C words. That's the word I wanted. Delay compensation. Okay, honestly, you are worth your weight in pelican poop. That is a strange saying. Um, preferences, dialogue, VST page. My highness, uh, printed. Okay. Preferences. VST. No, that's not it either. <sighs> nope. There must be something in here though. That's not the answer I wanted. That's not the answer either. <laughs> no, that's way to MIDI delay minus two seconds. That's what I wanted. There it is. Okay, okay. So use the track delay in milliseconds. Track delay. How do you find the track delay? Mm, 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 mm. So track delay. Okay. Where is track delay? That's unless it's there. No. No, 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 no. It's okay, how do you get to track to life? I find I spend a lot of time Googling stuff as I'm learning how to use this, but I've got to be patient with myself and just keep going. <sighs> Track delay.
Uh, another video, honestly. This is really, really, really annoying. Uh, uh, uh. It's under length. Why? Um, why don't I have that? Where is it? Ah. Uh. Look, there it is. Track delay. Ha! <laughs> that was helpful. <laughs> Never underestimate. Never underestimate the power of YouTube and the wonderful contributors who contribute it. Tribute. And to put stuff on on a daily basis. There it is, right before my very eyes. It's got a, even got a clocky thing there. <sighs> Did you hear the one about how two pieces of bread got married? It was wonderful right up until the bride and groom got toasted. Literally. So what I want to do is I want to um I want to decrease the delay by a bit. Let's do a bit like that and see if that works. That should work. Make always make sure you're on the right track. See, I knew it was there somewhere. Got it in the end. Thank you, Ray Kay, for your help. It's <sighs> yeah. Oh no, I won't forget that now. Let's turn the metronome on and turn the drums off and just hear the strings because we will need to work out um, the timing for that. So let's just hear the metronome first for half a bar. I think it needs to be, I think I'm going the right way. If I go extreme, I'll know if I'm going the right way or not. Right, so that is bringing it in early. <laughs> okay, let's go back to 21. That's, that might be good. Too early. Okay, that's good. I find myself conducting all the time. I don't know whether other people do it. Do you guys do it? Do you sit there and you're writing music and when you're trying to work something out to the beat, you actually sit here and do this? Too early. Okay. I think we're on track now. That's nice. Oh, and it was in the green tab. I know, right? Did I tell you about two slices of bread? Oh, that's just going to be the theme for the day. All right. Hot stuff. <laughs> Toasted and roasted. Okay. Listen to this and see if this helps and it works. I think that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. I've got to listen to it again. One, two, three, four. Still late. Needs to be a little bit, just the tiniest bit earlier. Two, three, four. It's hair of the whatever's it needs it's just a little bit ah try that two three four it's out it's out it's out i think it's too early now it's Split the difference. See if that works. Nope, it's too early. Let's try that. Two, three, four. Let's get rid of 
the drums. I think that's confusing things. Just the metronome. Because you love the metronome so much. <laughs> Two, three, four. That is just a tiny bit. To, it's only an, it's enough to throw it. Two, three, four. <laughs> What do you guys think of that one? I think that's it. 85.11 milliseconds. It's, I think it's right. Let me know, guys, what you think. Let's put the drums with it. The drums. And see if this works. Leave the metronome on so I can hear the beat. Two, three, four. By George, I think I've got it. Oh, you don't hear the metronome. Oh, look, it's best you don't, really. It's okay. You don't need to. <laughs> as long as it was in time with the drums, I think it was a I think it's working. Let's let's go with it and see what happens. Alright, so let me just get all this good. But thank you for letting me know. I think yeah, um, Cakewalk had a, had, has, um, a, a, a metronome bus, which goes, oh, excuse me, the stereo bus, so I'm not really sure how Cubase works, because I've only got my, my plug-in on the stereo output to go through OBS, so you guys can hear it all on the YouTubes. I don't know how that works for the metronome, but it's not really important. Not as important as the track delay being minus 85.11. Finally found it. It's over here, here, and for all the little clocky thing, the green tab. Thanks, Ray okay. <sighs> yeah, it is routable. Got to be careful how you say that. It is routable. Yeah, it is. I'm not going to bother about it. I don't use, it's not really required too much on my streams, I don't think. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> See, this is what happens when you stay late, up late at night making music. Little sleep, lots of coffee. All right. So. Fix the strings up. So I've just got to be mindful that on all the strings tracks to do the same when we get there. Um, <laughs> yes, let's make routable a word. It can be rooted, routed. Oh, see, I said it. I don't know whether that's a... Yeah, anyway, we won't hear yeah, this. Smiley, laughy face. Let's continue with the music, shall we? <laughs> so I'm going to um, 85.11, just going to remember that. The other library um, I'm going to use is also, um, and I'll just do this very briefly just to see if that delay is the same time. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to yawn all the way through this. My apologies. I'm so sorry. This is what happens when I don't have any sleep. This is um, Majestica. Um, which is a huge, hugely um, sampled orchestra by 8DIO. And again, I've got an individual spiccato uh, articulation loaded. But it is from sampled from I don't know, over a hundred strings or something ridiculous. Um, this is polyphonic, so you can play many keys all at once, and you've got basically all the the whole range of high low strings, all of them uh, in one patch. So what I'm going to do is I've put multiple. Uh, multiple tracks, uh, instrument tracks with Majestica on it, and I've just labelled them for violins one, violins two, viola, cello, and bass. It was late at night last night. 
Let's stop yawning. Um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, just for now, I'll show you. But once I've written the, the lines properly, I'm going to go across to um, Uh, something is is doing weird stuff on my computer. Um, I think people are sending me happy birthday wishes on Facebook. It's like, oh, thank you. I'll chat later. Um, I'm doing music stuff with with Ray Kay and Ashley and whoever's watching later sometime. You may be eating toast. Um, well, let's think about that for a moment. Next time you eat toast, were they actually married? Hmm. Okay, more sleep. Right, so if we put those two together, um, we've got the drums, because why not? Let's hear it. What I've done is the violins one spiccato from the ostinato strings, which are quite up front. I brought in the close mic only, so it's really close and makes sense. And Majestica, because it's a big group of strings, a larger group of strings playing. I've just left them as mixed microphones and let's layer them. Let's see what it sounds like. I haven't done this before, so let's oh, hang on. Um, let's, ah, now I know what to do. Let's make that minus, what'd we say? 80, 80, whatever it was, 85.11. There you go. Because and this is a good thing if you're going to work with string libraries and orchestras and stuff, try and work with them all from the same grouping. Um, so, you know, Spitfire or Cine Samples or, you know, even the free ones, you know, keep try and keep to those because often, not always, but often they're recorded in the same rooms. So they'll have the same microphone setups, the same reverbs, and they'll sound more cohesive. Otherwise, you've got to really use your ears well and try and uh, route them. There's that word again. To a bus to add reverb as required, which sometimes you want to anyway, just to get it more cohesive. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Depends. How long is a piece of violin string? Hmm. All right. That's not going to start at the beginning there, so I'm going to mute the drums because stuff with things, it's a trigger, it's MIDI, it's a thing, it's a whole MIDI thing. Let's just listen to the violins. <laughs> Let's put that back to zero. Definitely late. How late? Mm. Interesting. Wow. So interesting. Same company, different libraries, different ways of recording, different lateness. So the ostinato strings, I need minus 85.11 millisecond delay. Majestica, minus 102.13 millisecond delay to be in time. I'll check that with the metronome. You don't need to hear the metronome because it's pretty... Metronomy. And it works. That works. They're in time. They're in time with the metronome. Happy, happy days. Happy days indeed. Save. I'm going to save. That glitch from last night, weird. Everything was being triggered twice. It's all, all okay now. <sighs> Go figure. I'm happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is delete it. Uh, 
No, the reason is I'm going to write it here and copy and paste because what you want apparently, apparently, when you, um, and again, this is just what I've learned from the course and there's other places to learn all this from. It just doesn't need to be one source in particular. Um, but their suggestion is uh, that ostinato strings within the context of um, movie trailer music needs to be simple, not change keys, and repetitive, but building up. What does that mean? Who knows? I'm doing this for the first time. Let's see how we go. More coffee. Mmm. Mmm. But I have, I have um, almost completed the ostinato strings for the five string parts. So violins one, violins two, viola, cello, bass. Did I say five or six? Five. I think I said five. Five, ba five string parts, um, which are basically all octaves except for slight variation on the build-up for the violin ones. And I'm going to do something similar here. I don't want to be exactly the same, so I'm trying not to copy and paste it. I don't want to bring in what I've done over there because I'd like to try something a bit different. But so far, it's exactly the same. <laughs> that's how my brain works sometimes. Anyway, that's okay. Look. Let's go from the start. Let's unsolo that so we unmute everything. I did do some other bits, but I'm thinking about it. I want to change some things before we get in there because I've done a piano bit. It's too too much piano-y. And I want these things down here, which are boomy, um blasty, roboty, alieny, special effects type things uh, at marker, chord marker, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it is recommended that you um, put chord markers in and use your range of track for notes and all that sort of thing, you know, when strings come in or brass comes in and all that sort of thing, just to keep an eye on it because, again, as I mentioned before, we want to use things as little blocks because if you were going to do this in a real-world situation where well, you might actually get paid for your creative musicality stuff with things, then it needs to be chunks and bits so you can have breaks because movie trailer music isn't written to film it's not there are film editors who then get your chunks of music and splice and dice and throw it all together who knew the wonderful world of music it's quite in interesting what am i doing moving bits these bits going over here let's see if i've got snap on i have that's pretty snappy Hopefully that's in the right place and hopefully that'll work. I don't know if it will. Hmm. That seems a bit. How long does this go? This is pretty bit loud, so be careful. Always. Don't want to blast your ears. I'll just watch the levels over here. Uh, no, over here. Oh, there we go. And we need to go again because that's too late. Okay, so this is my special one that I made, which is incorporates all sorts of weird stuff. That works. I think that works. And then it goes on. Okay, that 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 could work. Let's go with it. <sighs> All right. Let's see what 
what I was doing at one o'clock this morning. <laughs> Who knows? Uh... First part, not too bad. I did I leave those in there or not? I left I left the taco and sambal in there. That wasn't meant to be there. Um, yeah, there was some there was some there was some stuff going on at one o'clock this morning, in which this all came together. I do that. <laughs> I sort of go in bursts, it's like, and then it just all happens and it all comes together, which is really cool. So let's go back now and finish these strings off because we've also got to, we're, we're almost, gee, we're almost an hour up already. How does this happen? Time flies when you're having fun with music. My goodness. So I'm going to use a note here. Now, as I said before, because I'm, I'm still learning, I, I haven't got templates set up. So part of the result of this exercise of me doing my own track is that I would have gone through several instruments, which is is key. Um, being able to work out uh, maybe what time um, timing works uh, as far as where the build ups and the whooshes and the the booms and things go, um, and then um be able to save it all as a template and have it ready to go to create more which is what I want to do but then I want to be able to be a, a have it uh, varied enough so sometimes I might have a choir sometimes I might not sometimes I'll have certain synths going on and that sort of thing sometimes not but at least if it's all loaded up then I know what works what doesn't work and then I can just start really quickly rather than what you've seen for the last week or so of live streams me going what do I do next <laughs> because if you do actually watch movie trailers and listen to the music they're pretty much similar now Ray Kay you've made an interesting comment there not the double whooshes just one which whoosh in particular <laughs> there's a few whooshes in there I think that double whoosh, maybe, I think you're talking about. Let's listen to the beginning again. I think there's a, a double, that's a rise whoosh. Or you're talking about the, 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 the greeny blue teal, teal whooshes or the pink whoosh. I'll wait for your comment of which whoosh you believe should be just one. There's a bit of a delay in the whole timey-wimey thing. Yes, I did make a reference to Doctor Who for those fans watching at home. And if OK is still there, <laughs> I am making assumptions, aren't I? And if he chooses to comment, he doesn't have to. I'm also making assumptions that he is a male gendered person. I believe so. Might be wrong. I have been known to be wrong about all sorts of things in my life before. Now I'm just rambling because I'm waiting for a response. Just one before a major change. Okay, I'll have to listen to it all again, won't I? <clears throat> I did say 1am. <laughs> Let's write. So all the tacos, the tacos, we have muted tacos. Let's listen to it from the start because I, I think you're right. It's a bit cluttered in there. It's a bit. Love that boom.
you're referring to this one, the pink one there. I don't think that's necessary there. So I'll mute it for now because you never know, might need it later on. Later on. I do like the two there, the double ones there, before the strings come in. The first one you reckon? I'm not gonna question. I just do as I'm told. Ray K's in charge. No, he's not. But that's a <laughs> all right. Let's. Like, I'll go with your advice. Let's. Hey, give it a try. I'm always up for trying things. I'm gonna dial that boy's choir down a little bit. It's a bit loud. Drones are a bit loud too. You wanna dial it back so it's really quiet. See, there's two together at the same time. I think, I think it should be the other way, where we have the one there goes to that boom there, and then that one leads up to that boom there. Let's hear it the other way. Let's 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 take a chance. Take a chance to get, yeah, anyway. Another Abba song. Me and Abba. Hmm. goes to that boom and then we've got the slow riser that builds up Um, I like it that way. Doesn't mean it won't change again. Because that's what I do. I don't know. What do you reckon? I like the second way. I think if I do it the other way, it seems a bit lifeless at that point. But hey, I'm just going on what? was done in the course and again it's there's no right or wrong answers it's all creativity all stuff with things um let's let's think about that i'm in charge oh, okay <laughs> can i introduce you to mr kionra you can tell him no i'm kidding it's all good he's he's a lovely person just don't tell anyone he likes to come across as very it anyway strings Strings. I digress. Thank you, Ray K, for your input. I do appreciate it. And look, I might takes me several listens before I actually am happy with the track. Like lots. This will be well. I was going to say this will take me days to finish, but I it needs to be submitted by or just after or about the stream on Sunday. So the stream on Sunday may be finishing this or might be actually hopefully reviewing what I've done and what I've learned from doing this so far, I think, um, and chatting about what we should do next. I was thinking, would you be interested, and you can let me know if you're watching this later in the comments below, not per se all of my streams, but maybe one per week for a little while, focusing on music from computer games, i.e. I play a game and we chat and talk about the music that's in the game, what instruments are being used, what style of, of music is being played. Um, we could call it music research in computer games or just an excuse for me to play computer games on YouTube. Either way, it's my birthday. I can do what I want. <laughs> oh, too much fun. All right. Did you hear about the two slices of bread? We won't go there. More coffee. So I'm thinking. We have uh, something that's working right now. Now, I do apologize in advance. You're going to hear lots of strings at the moment as we do the string ostinato, but I think it's worth doing and worth doing well. Um, and we're going to 
have a look in here at the strings. So I need my chord markers there so I know what I'm doing. And here we go. So let's go from the start of the strings and see what happens. So we're in D minor chord. Ah, oh, look, yeah, I've I've been a I've been a gamer since I was a kid, so a long, long time before the Commodore 64 computers. I had a Sinclair ZX Spectrum computer back in the day with a tape recorder and you had to put the games in the tape recorder or I used to buy magazines and copy the code out of the magazine. I used to code, type in all the code. Because why wouldn't you? For my 64K that's right, 64K computer. My watch has more than that. Actually, most people's watches and things have more computing power, and especially our phones, than we used on the Apollo uh, spaceships that went to the moon. More computing power in what we have in our pockets these days. It's incredible. Um, <sighs> Commodore 64 with floppies. Who doesn't remember? Okay, my kids don't remember <laughs> Commodore 64s with floppies, but I do. I remember them. Used to get this, the, the floppy disk containers. Used to, That was like a birthday present when you were a kid. You'd get a disk case for all your floppy disks with a little key in the front. Oh, my goodness. See, this is what happens at birthday parties. You reminisce about how old you really are. <laughs> ah. Okay, all right, I'm in the key of my um, D minor, but I'm about to go into a D from a D minor chord to a B flat major, and I'm going to use my little cheat sheet again, and I'm going to have a look on here to see if you can actually see it. I got these from somewhere. It was a, a music, when I was uh, teaching singing to kids, more of a, a more part-time than I'm part-time at the moment. Um, I used to get all these wonderful things for kids and pencils and books and all sorts of practice diaries. And one of them was music coasters. And it's got my circle of fifths on here. So I've got it on my desk because I can never remember. I'm really bad at remembering anything these days. Who are you? Yeah. Anyway, um, so B flat major is the same as G minor and it has two flats in it. Two ones. Yes. So B flat major has two flats in it. B flat and E flat. And D minor has one flat. Hmm. Okay. So let's. Let's let's think. Let's do a little bit of this. A little bit of noodling to try and try and get there. Oh, Ashley, you remember the, the couple of 64? 512 bytes. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm upset that I've nearly filled four terabytes on my new computer that I've only had for just over a year. You can you have too many Virtual music libraries. Speaking of which, just to mention, I'll have to go over here. Let's let's stop. Let's just just pause for a moment. You know how I love a sale. If you don't know that I love a sale, then here's the time to do the clicky bits below, the like and subscribe and the cowbell. Why wouldn't you? Um, because sales, summer sales coming out. Isotope. I'm. I personally am a big fan of the Music Production Suite 5, which is now 5.2. I'm not sure whether I need to upgrade or not. But if you're a customer, you get loyalty discounts as well as their summer 50% off discount. And because Isotope and Native Instruments are friends now, I don't know that they weren't friends before, but they're friendlier now. Has that got to do with anything with bread? Anyway, um, so 
uh, Native Instruments having their, what I believe is their annual sale. If you have ever thought about, considered, whatever, of getting complete in any iteration, do your homework, do your research, these are the cheapest prices that will be likely, likely, I'm not sure, I'm not an expert, but, and you know, buy beware, do your own research. I am going shopping. <clears throat> uh, I think it's for the next month. Do double check on their websites. Native Instruments Complete. If you wish to upgrade or buy, again, choose the one that's right for you. But I did buy a couple of years or 18 months ago or so. I bought um, Complete Standard. And at last year's sale, I think, I upgraded to Ultimate 13. And then they upgraded to 14 and I went, <laughs> I'm not paying that. So I've been waiting a year to get complete 14. And of course, the loyalty program gives you an even bigger discount. So I might get the collector's version because it actually is a pretty, pretty good deal for those who are upgrading during their sale. So check them out. Isotope having a sale. Native Instruments having a sale. It's the summer sales. They don't have as big a sale for complete for Black Friday, I believe. All the videos I did for Black Friday last year, I didn't cover uh, Native Instruments complete. I think they have other sales on their other products, but not necessarily complete. Just saying do your research don't take my word for it I am not an expert in any way shape or form it is your choice and your choice alone but I'm going shopping so <clears throat> in the next <clears throat> I don't know when but it is the um anyway sales have a good sale right back to virtual instruments and, and why I'm starting to plan the next build of my next computer in the next few years um, to have more more terabytes. Um, I also make videos and stuff and, and a lot of graphics stuff. So I'll do a lot of graphics design. And it, for those who are interested in graphics design and interested in Photoshop, the generative AI feel is amazing. So I'm a big fan of, of Adobe. I used to do graphics design in my previous web development days so I've used Adobe products for about 20 years now um, so there you go anyway strings I digress I'm so bad at this or good at it depends how you look at it we have Friday. then we need to go here why is this not locking it should there we go um i'm going to use the step input a big fan of that especially for ostinatos and that sort of thing um and we're on eight triplets which is very cool and it's working it really is working i'm really enjoying doing this um we need to so what we've got is oops Let's play it properly. Then we need to go B flat. So that's in D minor. Yeah, I want something different to the other one that I've done. So. Something really simple because then we can put variation later on in the piece to the just the violins one. So if it's really um, boring, shall we say, uh, but but fairly static across the the piece of music, it really draws the attention to the build up. We're going to bring in brass and a whole range of other things uh, in a little while, and I'm thinking about bringing Arturias. Um, the latest plug-in in augmented brass. I haven't had too much of a play with that, but I think I might be able to find something in there that'll work. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, so. Um, is 
That works. <laughs> So it needs to be fairly simple because it's just a driver and remember it's supposed to be trailer music to support the visuals of the actual movie on the screen. Um, if you watch, <laughs> there's a great video just on YouTube, um, uh, movie trailers for 2023, the latest one. There's one that comes out every week or so, the last one for the last couple of days. There's some really, really cool movie trailer music along with the movie trailers themselves so I guess what I'm planning out what movies I'm going to go to the movies to see the next few months there's some really cool ones um but really good music so all right let's do this step record on and we're gonna go <laughs> Uh, nope, because that is one bar of many, is it? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, I've just, I know what's happened. I do this often. I make mistakes. See that blue line? It's that's where that does the step recording from. So I need the blue line to be over here. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where are we? Over here. Where I need the blue line to be. Right. Aha. I found you. So blue line start there. Along with that, and then we should be able to see as I enter in. Here we go. There we go. Da 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 I think I can go up. Oh, that's too... A bit more oomph. Ah, that's the only problem. You can then move the blue line back again. <laughs> I knew that. So that's bar 32. Uh, where is... Because the, the playhead is still stuck at bar 31. So up. Uh, so one, two, so it's only three bars. Then we get to A minor. Um, one. Uh, we can just copy and paste. What am I doing? Turn step record off. And we just do a little bit of that. Why make it harder for ourselves? Oh, uh, quantize. Oh, no, that should be quantized because we just did step recording. Aha, uh -huh, of course. I knew that. And then we do that with a bit of that. And then... We go to A minor. A minor. Let's listen to it so far so we get an idea of what it's doing and where it's going. Try keeping the same pattern. Mm, yeah. Could do. Could that get too boring though? I'm going to go with it. So if you're saying. Da 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 da. -da. Yeah, okay. All right. Same pattern, bring, okay, yep, 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 I get you, I get you, I get you. I'm on board, Roquet, I'm on board. My mentor, Roquet. <laughs> Love having it along. Great work, great work, okay. Um, So it's... Ah, this is a problem, otherwise we need to bring it up. Yeah. 
The F is out of the range, so we'd have to bring it up an octave. I don't know if that'll work. That's probably why I didn't do that before. Let's listen to it. Uh, no, let's... Um, every second one. Second, second, second one needs to go down to an F. As well as... Those two. I don't know how to work an octave up, but we'll see. Yeah. And then we do the same for the A minor. We've got the B natural in there, so um, we should be able to just copy that and then move it. Yeah, oh, we only need one bar, don't we? That bit. What could possibly go wrong? And then just move it because that starts on B flat. And we want it to start on the A. It's only down semitone. Is that right? A. Those two need to go down again to the G. And then we've got the E, E natural, that should work. Let's see. Sure if that last note works. It goes in back into D minor, so that might be the ticket. Da, 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 da. For another four bars. It's very repetitive. It is literally once you've got a couple of bars, work on it, make it right, copy and paste. And then what we're going to do shortly is do the same with all of the strings, like the rest of the strings. And that's going to be the start of it. But later on, I'll put some variation into Violins 1 later in the track, like another minute or so into the track. So we're about a minute in. Um, for the challenge on the Discord server for the Cube Tube, almost forgot the name, for the Cube Tube, um, that needs to be at least two minutes long. So it this easily. Easily. This will be close to three minutes if I put everything in on in here, in on here, in here, well, I mean, on around. Right, It'll right. be there. So I'm gonna spend most of the weekend on this because it's too much fun. I'm really having fun doing this. It is too much fun. Um all right. So let's have a uh copy and paste. So one, two, three, four bars there, one, two, three, and then an A minor. I think we've got the same. So one, two, three, four bars there. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yep. Hi, Ashley. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for your birthday wishes. It's been fun. Always nice to have you here. And, um, yep, have a great weekend uh, doing your computer music and graphic stuff and all the rest of it. I know you love being creative as well. So go be creative and enjoy the world and enjoy the world around you and nature and stuff too to get in more inspiration. It's a wonderful thing. Um, all right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then a B flat for three, and then D minor. Can you see a bit of a pattern happening here? So it is literally all of this again uh, and again. So copy that, paste it there, and then we do the same again. Oops. 
Catch you later, Ashley. Thanks for coming by. There. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep. There you go. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? <sighs> I told you. Uh. I'm such a goose sometimes. Okay. Ah, because. Am I in that? No, no, I should be right. What is going on here? Okay. No. More coffee, less coffee, who knows? Let's do this again with bells on. Okay. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. See, need more sleep. But it means I get to do less music. There we go. I don't know what happened there. That's okay. So, we've got that. Yay. All right. Oh, push my keyboard. In. I've actually got a slidey keyboard, like keyboard, keyboard. Musical keyboard, not a computer keyboard. I've got that here. There's lots of keyboards. It gets confusing. Um, but I've got a slidey, slidey, outy keyboard that comes out, and that's why I move my chair back. Boards. Is that slide? Ladies, all right, let's listen to that. Is everything else going to happen for that length of time? No, we need to. Uh, extend our very um, big. Uh, where? What bar does it stop at the moment? Okay, so 51. So that's cool. That's what I've done. I haven't got snap on. Snap on, snap off. There we go. Because I've got it to... Uh, End of 50, end of 50, beautiful, done, lovely. Okay, so we've got drums and strings till then. We haven't got much else. Um, we've got other bits over here we haven't used yet. There's still more stuff with things to happen. It's all exciting. So let's go to the beginning. Let's save. So I don't want gremlins again like last night. That was really... Not good. Let's listen from the beginning and listen to those strings and then just, should we just double those strings anyway before we listen to it? Yeah. Look, why not? What could possibly go? Did we did we do a bit of the timey-wimey thing now that we see? I know exactly where that timey-wimey thing is now. I'm going to call it timey-wimey. You know I am. Yeah, I am. You betcha. Doctor Who fans. Right, so that's 102.13, that's 85.11. Um, and that worked before. It could work again. Uh, and watch this. Oh, uh, that's not going to work for me because I need to zoom in more so it snaps a bit better. There we go. Here we go. I have snap on, haven't I? Yes. Jump. 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 Look at me go. There's green everywhere. There's green strings. Where are we down to? Here we go. Boom. 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 I don't know how it's going to sound. I just don't know. I do. I've got a bit of an idea. Let's get all the names right on those bits because we're going to get lost very quickly otherwise with what we're doing with what. Cubase is really cool like this. Double click on the name there, shift enter, and it puts the name over here because because we've copied it from the one track, it's not matching up. 
and just when things are going to get rather tricky with so many tracks and I think this is the this is the most tracks I've worked with so far in anything I've done before so this is all very new to me um I've got the instruments loaded we've doubled up that we need to now copy 8511 to the spiccatos hopefully that'll work Minus 85.5 on. Okay. I wonder if I can do copy and paste. Should do. Spiccato. Paste. Look at me go. Enter. Spiccato. Should be the same. Should be the same. May not, but it should be the same. Same with these. If we've got this synced up and we know that that is the timing for that, we might need to do some adjusting. Hopefully not. Hope this is all making sense to you. If not, comment below. I always answer my comments fairly quickly too. So I like to hear from people and say good day. Totally yours I am, aren't I? <laughs> Say good day. Yeah, right, mate. Say good day, love. Yeah. As you go on. Um, and we do talk like that. <laughs> it's really sad. Okay. We are going to go from the beginning. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. We need to just double check something because they're all of the wrong um octaves aren't they yes they are so the violins one will be fine violins two and I should have done this that makes sense doesn't it because if I do it for violins one I don't want to have to redo it for violins two so let's bear with me there's method in my madness the so cellos are going to be the same, bass is going to be the same, etc. etc. If you get where I'm going from. So, what I'm going to do is show you what I'm doing here and more copying and pasting. Well, it's actually copying and moving this time because we're going to drop this an octave. Hopefully, that works. Yeah, yeah. Once we know that it works, oh shoot, that's very loud. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's loud. Why is that so loud? That's really loud. Let's drop that down a bit. Oh my goodness. Um, right. Is that too low? Yep, it is. So, um, is that too low? No, it's not. Okay. So what I might do is, how loud is, yeah, it's picking up from there. Okay, it's only loud on my headphones, so that's all right, because I've got it turned up way too loud. Let's turn that down a bit. I'm already deaf enough as it is. So those low bits need to come up an octave. I thought that might be the case. And that will still sound okay. I think. Because it's too low for the violins. And that's why I wanted to do this. So that should all play now. Nope, we're missing notes there. <sighs> That's why it needs to be written. Unless I put just a 
and that could be the slight variation, is put those up an octave. Doesn't sound quite the same, but I don't know whether I want it all to be octaves. Although it kind of makes sense if the violins one are going to have variation later, isn't it? Yep. Yep. See, I change my mind all the time. If in doubt, cut it out. There you go. You heard it here, folks. If in doubt, cut it out. All right. Let's do that process again and zoom in so we get the, the snap, snap, and snap. So we're going to have violins one and two exactly the same. Viola should be able to, because of the instrument range, viola should be able to be brought down an octave. Let's see if that one works. So, highlight it all. At the moment, it's in violins one range. Shift, arrow down, and unmute that, solo that. Ah, that's a bit too low. So what we need to do is bring that bit up an octave. So there's some faffing about that needs to happen, but that's okay. That's still going to be okay, I think. So if we do that. It sounds nice. I love the viola. Lovely, lovely. This is why I was going to not have to do this twice if I copied the MIDI before. That should work. Let's just double check that all the notes play. Yep. Ah, uh, the high note there. Yep. Ah, oh, it's such a lovely tone. These violins sound so nice. Sorry. Yeah, that incidental actually works too. Okay. That's the wrong button. Press some buttons. There's another button. Okay, so the violas, good to go. Now that we've fixed them, zoom in. There we go. And we're done with that one. So now we go to cellos. And I am mindful that I need more coffee. And the time is ticking. Wow. So, uh, right. Let's see, that will have to come down an octave. Let's see if that works. Oh, sounds so good. Now this may be may work. Remember how at we made this bit, we put it up an octave because the first violins couldn't play it. They might be out, but the cellos should. <laughs> That's gritty as I love it. Same with 
this bit here. That's so nice. And that's going to fill out the different bits of sound, EQE type stuff. goes an octave down now if this was a real orchestra I would have to be ordering in the masseurs for the poor string players who'd be going a million miles an hour and I think it's really cool that this library actually you can hear the bow hitting different times and making all those different heart hitting sounds because that's what it's like. If you actually hear a violinist play with that much attacker, attack, what's the Italian word? All the musical terms are Italian. I think it's attacker. Um, but with that much effort into it, you're going to hear all those wonderful timber, not tombra, but timber and tombra sounds um, as they play. It's it's incredible. It's really cool. Let's say that that works. What could possibly go wrong? Um, and then we're going to copy that, that down to the Majestica. Oh, there we go. And boom, like that. And then last but not least, oh, time's ticking, friends. Time's ticking. Oh, my goodness. It's almost my lunchtime. There might be cake. Oh, maybe we'll wait till after dinner tonight for cake. All the family will be there. Not a big family here because most of my family's in Adelaide where Pete Johns is, if you know Pete Johns from Studio Live today. Farmer's Union iced coffee. Um... It's the little things. So, again, let's see if this will work. Bringing this down. This might be really low. I hope it'll work because it'll be nice to have the real boomy bass. So we're not going to have, other than the actual booms, for the effects of the... Uh, trailer music we're not going to have anything else in that sound dynamic range that makes sense because the brass will be a lot higher unless I have I don't think I'll have tubers uh, yeah I'm not sure no, let's listen to this oh now we've moved that those bits down now we've got to move it, the whole thing down an octave and see if this oh, works yeah. Yeah, so... <laughs> Doesn't that sound beautiful? Except that I'm playing the cello bit. Let's try the, the bass. So that should be an octave higher, yeah? Is it? That's C2. That's what I thought. They're the same octave. That's not very helpful, is it? So this needs to be brought down another octave. It will go down that far. Let's. There we go. Oops, sorry folks. Let's solo that. <laughs> Oopsie. That works. That sounds so cool. <laughs> We've got, oh yeah, no, that's right. That's, that's, that's very good. That, that all works. That all works. Let's, let's now that we've got that one, copy it down to this one. 
and because we want it there, copy it, boom, down to there. And as long as all of that is working, um, let's see, that's C3, C4. And we've got violins one and two there. Uh, the violas was the other one, which needs to be, that's, that's got the, those bits down. So that should sound good. And then the cello was C2. And then the double bass is lower. That should work, should. Music. I use the term loosely. Let's have a listen to just the strings to see if this all works. And I've put in the timing. <laughs> Okay, ostinato strings, there you go. And that works well with the timing, the timey-wimey bit we've worked out that Majestica, about minus 102.13, and the ostinato strings, both from 8DIO, minus 85.11. Timey-wimey, got it, understand it, learnt something. That's why I'm here. I'm here to learn and maybe you can learn things with me. And then remember them for me. And if you're here on the next stream, I'm going to ask you what happened last time because I would have forgotten. Post-it notes. I'll pick that up later. Um, so, yes, save. Let's save that, shall we? Because we don't want to lose that. Post-it. Notes. Um, alrighty. How's that sound? Should we hear it from the start and in context with everything else to give us a bigger picture of what we're doing? Um, and see where we're going. The only thing we've got, no more tacos, tacos. For now, I need to, if I can work out how to use them better, maybe in the next piece of music. I need to learn libraries. It's what it's all about. So we've got drones. They're not perfect, but they're okay. It's not mixed. The volume balance all out of whack and stuff, but we've got a few couple of little special effects. We've got some drum things happening. Um, the drones. We've got the start-up thingies. We've got a bit of a boys' choir thingy and a bit of a piano thingy. Still got... The chords being played here by the piano, which we don't need anymore, so we can get rid of that because that may be distracting. And let's go from the start and see where we are at. Fingers crossed.
quite a massive hey. Um, <laughs> that's a big sound. I had to turn that down a bit. I hope you've all got your eardrums securely in place where they once were. Oh, that's a lot of violins, but it sounds cool. Let's, it's just a, because they suggest you can layer them, but then sometimes they can become redundant if you have too many. I just want to try something. Let's listen to just the ostinato strings, just the ostinatos. Sorry, the, in context with, with just the ostinatos. <laughs> So that is just the ostinato strings, and this is with Majestica as well laid in. Spiccato, ostinato strings are close mics, and Majestica, more strings sampled at the one time with mixed mics. So it's Deca, close, and room. Gives a full sound. But you've still got the real sharpness of the ostinato strings. So I wasn't sure about when I started this, that was that that was the experiment was are the ostinato spiccato strings worth it? Bought them on sale. So literally, it's worth it. Of course it's worth it, as she says, as she's filling up her four terabytes of hard drive. Um, but these are the original ostinato strings. I think there's two versions. I only got the first ones because I thought the second ones have got lovely little twiddly bits, but would I use them? The answer at the time, no. So I bought the older ones, which is the first ostinato strings one or something. And for this, after using it for a, a couple of weeks now, I reckon the One Key Wonders, while good, don't do the triplets. Unless you can program them, and I'm not really working out how to do it, so they're actually better to have it on spiccato and play it in yourself. Now, I've got lots to do here. This is nowhere near finished. So this is a whole weekend. Pro this is what I'll be doing for the rest of the weekend. Um, so this is going to have to, because I've, I've copied all the velocities and they're not right, so I need to go in and change all that, do the automation, mix it all up together, etc., etc., etc. But at least for now, we've got the bare bones of what's happening, but we haven't built up to anything. We haven't got the brass or anything like that. So... Let me go back to my notes of my course thus far. And this, this piece will get better over time. So I'll submit it for the QTube thing for Monday morning, my time. But I'll also uh, continue working on it. And I might actually, well, I'll definitely do a YouTube video on it. Yeah. So which might just be the picture and a little equalize the thing for the music and put it on my channel um because i'm liking this i'm enjoying this i like trailers i like doing trailers they're exciting um okay brass here we go so this is four five six seven That was a very loud plane that went over. <laughs> Hello to the boys and girls in the Defence Forces. That was a jet. Um, we are in a little bit of a flight path here and they do training nearby. Um, so I was counting and I lost count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so by the 13th marker, which is, this is why, and they suggest having chord markers and a range of tracks with notes and things is can be very handy. So, 
if we go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13. So by this one, so in here we're going to get all brassy, brassy time, bring on the brass. I don't know what to do here because I haven't done the brass section in my course yet. So, I mean, I've listened to their demo track and I could become very creative here or not so let's have a very quick look let's choose an instrument and again this is going to all form part of a, a big template so i'll probably show you sunday night's stream of what i ended up doing because i'm hoping to finish it by sunday night my time which will be sunday morning for most of you that may be watching um i'm in australia so we do things before others new zealanders are first and those in the south pacific Islands, which I have never visited, would like to one day. Let's add an instrument um, down here, up here. Now, where should I put it? Uh, brass. I'm trying to think. Orchestral template. Um, violins are last. Why have I put them? Hmm, violins should be last. Anyway, we're not. It's okay. Let's let's put them after the choir. Just in here. Let's slot them in. Which means my colours will be all out of whack. It's okay. I need to fix it once I get <sighs> augmented brass. There we go. Let's have a play with that. Let's see what we can come up with. How exciting. Um, I love a good preset and you can fiddle and twiddle with these so you don't have to... Um, add other plugins necessarily to make it your own mm. you can do twiddly bits and then you can certainly uh oh uh advance there you go you can certainly do more twiddly bits over here with lots of knobs and who doesn't like a good twiddle with knobs really speaking of which like and subscribe with the clicky bits below and you'll get notified of when i next do such things yeah. Wide and proud. We'll have to have a listen to some of these. So I'm thinking we've got um, the Ostinato strings going da 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 uh, singing. Not lazily today. It's colder weather here. Da 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 da. Uh, Da 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 da. That sort of thing, the real oomph, but more actually, probably down an octave. Uh, Yeah, so we'll have some real chunky, chunky chords. Is that the right way to do it? So that could work, actually. Let's favourite them wide and proud. That works. Um, <laughs> I just can't get over the number of presets. Arturia, uh, I love your work, but wow. Um, brass in motion. Okay. That's cool. Not what I'm looking for. That actually would make a great drone. And also, if you... You could do like a ping pong delay or something on there too. Ooh, random vibrato. <gasps> Yes. Oh, 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 this. See, this is how I end up staying up until two in the morning going, oh, this is fun. 
let's play with this for a little while. And all of a sudden, five minutes is five hours. It is a whole timey winey thing. Um, all night long. <laughs> all night long. That sounds like me at the moment. I could play music all night long. No, we want big and brassy bass, bass, Wild bass brass. Mm, no. Deep roots. Again, some nice stuff that could be... Some good dumb drones and stuff underneath. Well, honestly, a fate befalls you. Which reminds me, <laughs> for those gamers out there, Diablo 4, June 6. Just saying, we may have to look at and listen to the music of Diablo 4 for research purposes. Mmm, research. <clears throat> I'll definitely need more coffee then. Okay, time is ticking. We need to find... No, I think the one I found before was really good. What was it that I found before? Wide and proud. sound good. I might use that. Ah, uh, lonely trumpet longhorn. Oh. Yeah, I like wide and proud actually. That was really good. Avengement. There we go. Pardon, too many tacos again, obviously. <clears throat> Desert track, trek? No. Keys in my pocket. No. There's too many. Lo-fi trumpet chorus. Not the sound I'm looking for. I think I'm really thinking. What? Uh, Night of the Fireflies. Hmm. Dental treatment. I tried this before. Dental treatment. That sounds too nice. I have favourited that one before. Death marches. <laughs> Arpeggiator thing going on. Apparatus. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh, like I do like that one, but I'm thinking. Wide and proud is better. Yep, I think that one. Okay. Good eye. Let's slot in some brass very quickly. D minor. Uh, okay. So what we want is um see I'm checking again. <laughs> Same as F major, so one flat. E flat. I don't want the I don't want Is that 
too much with the high strings. Yeah. First inversion, perhaps. Let's just put some chords in here and hope for the best. Um, incoming wall of sound, uh, be aware, because these ostinato strings, I should actually turn all of them down just a little bit for now um, because they are quite loud. Channel volume, I go minus two on all of these. It's just easier if I do this. That one's already done. I must have been there before. Um, let's make them even. And there's probably an easier, quicker way of doing this with a shortcut or to be able to highlight them and do them all at once. And I don't know that yet. Still learning. Lots to, there's so much to learn about this stuff. But that's what we're all here to do is to learn. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to hit record and I'm just going to do this. We're going to do first inversion, D minor, and I don't know what I'm doing. That should move up to the B flat major, which will be... Um, So let's record something and see what we can get. Ah, cool. Thanks for joining, Rokay. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to have a fun day. Um, yeah, see you Sunday. Uh, I'll be here and I'll post another thing. And hopefully I might actually have the finished product or very, very close to by then. Long weekend coming up. But they're all good. So thank you for joining me, Rokay. It's been fun. Have a great night for you, I believe it is. And a great weekend. I'll catch you soon. All right. For those sticking around or watching the replay, let's put some brass in and see what happens. Um, hold on to your ears. Now this isn't too loud. It's not too bad. So I'm going to put... Oh, I can always extend it, can't I? Yeah. Hold on. That is very boring, isn't it? I think we'll just put the basics in for now and see how it goes. What well, could possibly go wrong, right? <laughs> Basically, it's going to go from that to that. Let's just do that. Wow, you couldn't hear the brass for all those strings. Let's turn those strings down even more. Oh my goodness. Let's just let's just do a quick of not that much. There's gotta be a lot of automation because we've got to build all that up towards the end of the track. There's a lot of work to do here, but that's okay. That's about that'll do. And that one down a bit more. Okay, that should we should be able to hear this one, this poor little brass. Um, <laughs> oh, boy, it's lonesome. Let's have a look at the brass. What did I do and why did I do it? Who knows, really? 
Very nice. Let's wait, 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 going. Okay, let's quantize this a little bit. Uh, what are we doing just in quarter notes? Straight, straight notes. Quantize that. There we go. That's that's a bit better. Um, did I get the notes right? <laughs> did do it a little bit. That might bring it up a bit. That right. That should be A minor. Did I press the wrong buttons? I got a D and a B and a G. What's the thingy? That is not an A minor chord. That is an A minor chord. Should we try that? <laughs> That's an A. And that needs to go down to there. And that should be the same as that. Yes, it is. Good oh. Yay. All right. Look, we've come to the end of another episode of Making Music. <laughs> um, we're going to end there, I think, for today. We've we've done a bit. We've done a we've done a bit. I think we've done a bit. Um and we've got the piano at the top, we've got the ostinato strings, we've got um drones, we've got some booms and sub booms and rises and stuff and we've got some drums no tacos anymore no there there's no tacos but we, now we have brass we haven't got a color for brass yet we, okay let's color the brass um oh, something that sticks out in the middle of all that a nice pretty light blue that'll do nice okay so we have that and let's hear it from the beginning and on that happy note and so many more happy notes, I'm having a lovely day today. Thank you very much for joining me or watching the replay afterwards. If you like the things that I do, then well done you. I question my life choices, but you can like and subscribe and comment. You know, I love feedback and I always reply to my comments, but be nice. The world is a nicer place when people are nice to each other. And I, as my mother said many years ago, through most of my life, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. So to those people that may not say nice things, I say this. Exactly. So on that happy note, there were two pieces of bread. If you don't want to, don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the beginning of the video. Uh, <laughs> thank you all. And uh, wherever you are and whatever you do, do more of it. Be creative. It's, it's kind of cool and kind of fun. I'm going to play this bit for you now and say goodbye. Until then, and a bit more. Enjoy. <laughs>